Galveston is an island off the coast of Texas. We're set aside from the rest of the world. Galveston is 37 miles all the way around, and its widest point is four miles. It's a completely different atmosphere from big city life. I'm Leon Phillips II, born and raised in Galveston, Texas in 1948. Growing up here in Galveston was, was remarkable. It really was. Yeah, I'm a BOI. I got one of the biggest BOIs around, you know. Um, it means exactly that, born on the island, you know. Uh, some people are BOIs, but that actually means born off the island. So <laughs> you can take that as, as however you want to, you know. But I, I'm born on the island, and they say that islanders have salt water in our veins. So we're, we're a breed amongst ourselves. We're an island. There is nothing we can do about what's happening with water. It's, it's like you, you fill a glass to the brim with water and you take a one millimeter pearl and drop it in it, the water spills over, and that's a very small pearl. Uh, Galveston's the same way. Um, the more the Arctic melts, the more water we're going to have to fight off. 100 years from now, Galveston Island may not be here. I hope I don't live long enough to see it go away. Uh, it was very scary. Like I said, the winds and the rain picked up at around 7.30, 7, 7.30, and we were just we were just sitting on the porch, you know. The sun was shining, and we were just sitting on the porch long enough until it was unbearable to sit there. The door had a blind over it, like these blinds down here, and when I opened it, the wind just took it, it just pulled it off the hinges. And so we jumped up, we were afraid, so we jumped up and we went inside. Yeah, I haven't been to this place since Ike hit, so. Tell me how it feels right now to see this place. Uh, it brings back a lot of memories, you know. It, like I said earlier, it's kind of like an eerie feeling because we wrote it out in this place. And How great is our God? You ought to sing with me. How great is our God? My name is Jonathan Henry. I'm 14 years old. I'm from Galveston, Texas. Galveston, it is wonderful. Well, I'm so happy to be a part of an island. Not many people can say that they live on an island in the USA. Tell me about Sunday, the essay contest. I got involved in the contest with my uh, debate teacher, Mr. Michael Merritt. He told me about the contest, and so uh, he said, um, I think you would be good at it. And so um, I wrote the essay over the break and I turned it in Monday and I was kind of hesitant about it. I really didn't think I was going to win, be, me being a freshman. And I, then when I got the uh, call on Thursday that uh, I was one of the winners, that really made me uh, proud to be a freshman and win a contest with uh, seniors and other uh, grade levels in high school. That made me proud. The melodic sounds of Louis Armstrong singing What a Wonderful World conjures visions of people living in a world immersed in tranquility. My dream for the future of our world and its people is for people to realize that there is one race, the human race. 
In order to achieve that goal, there must be a focus on cultural awareness. My dream will be fulfilled when the bridge is built that leads to world harmony. We are all Americans, but from different nationalities, which make up the culture of our country. America is known as the melting pot, and it is time to live up to that reputation. Although we have diverse cultures and many nationalities, we must realize that there is one race of people on the earth, and that is the human race. This is my dream to come true. Thank you.